Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and let me start by saying a very big happy new year to you all. I know I'm a little bit late as soon as it is the 20th of January, uh, but honestly it's been crazy ever since the clock stroke 12 on midnight but going into the morning of January 1st. Like literally it has been mayhem, um, everything has been happening and I just haven't had time to sit down and record and just talk to you guys and... Yeah, it's just been really, really crazy. So I know I'm a little bit late with my videos and wishing you guys a happy new year, but hopefully I'm not too late to show you what I got for Christmas. So the other week I put a poll on my Instagram just to ask you a few questions on what you want to see on my uh, channel next. And one of the questions was if you wanted to see what I got for Christmas and I literally had amazing results back. Everyone wanted to see what I got for Christmas. Obviously I put like loads of other different videos up and I also got a amazing amazing response on them but I also wanted just to kick start the start of the year off showing you what I had for Christmas. Now obviously I've just picked a handful of my most favourite presents what I had for Christmas. Um, I'm not going to show you them all because I did have quite a lot of presents and we'd be here for hours on end. So yeah, if you want to see what I got for Christmas, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. But yeah, let's get into this video. So for starters, we are literally sitting on my bed today. We are doing a chill video because it is Sunday and literally I didn't really fancy moving my desk and sitting in my chair. I just wanted to put on a big ass baggy jumper and just sit on my bed and be really, really comfortable. So the first two things that you can notice like in my background is this uh, French bulldog calendar and also this um, personalised calendar. So these are the two items I also got for Christmas. So the French bulldog one was actually from Jake. He knows I am obsessed with French bulldogs but so is he. So he got one last year and I also asked for one this year so he got me that as well. And then my sister um, Natalie got me this one from Moon Peak and honestly they're absolutely a Adorable. So on the front, like you have, um, I I have a picture look like, of me and Natalie, um, and then going into January, it's me and Katrina, and then me and Jake going like in to February. So like these are, like really good stocking fillers, and I just love calendars. And recently, I have needed like a calendar not just on my phone but on my wall because I have so many appointments to go to, and life is just crazy at the moment. But yeah. Jumping straight in to showing you what I got for Christmas, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit because I want to get close and up personal with you. And just ignore the hair as well guys, it's going a little bit cray cray today so just work with me. But yeah, the first thing that I'm going to be picking up what I had for Christmas was off Natalie, which is my elder sister who I sing with, is this really cute Marc Jacobs perfume set. Now... If you remember watching, if you did watch um, my Christmas guide um, video, what I put up in December, I explained to you guys I'm absolutely crazy on perfume. I can go like through a bottle of perfume like in a week. Honestly, I'm crazy. So Jake brought me a set from Next Before um, Christmas, which I showed you in that video as well. But Natalie bought me this like really cute Marc Jacobs set and I'm absolutely obsessed. So I thought... Um, I didn't really know what this was when I first opened it, but then obviously by the um, box it like shows you like little different perfumes. So I'm not going to take it all out of the packaging, but literally I'm obsessed with um, what is actually in the packaging and how they have designed the perfume bottles. So I'm just going to show you like my favourite perfume bottles actually in this set, which is called Marc Jacobs Decadent um, Perfume. Now this is my favourite, like it's got a hint of kiwi in it and... I don't know, it just smells like really, really fresh and really, really beautiful. But I'm just going to show you like the packaging of this because it's really, really cute. So as you can see, it's like in a shape of a handbag. And yeah, I just think this is like a really clever way of doing a perfume bottle. But it's also a different. I haven't actually seen like perfume bottles in this shape before. So you literally just take the top of the handbag off and it's like a dropper. Honestly, I can use too much of perfume and I literally will go crazy. So having like the dropout ones is just a little bit more better because you can control how much you're actually putting on your skin and it doesn't go in your clothes either so it won't ruin them. Um, but honestly, I absolutely love this Marc Jacobs perfume set. I think it's really, really cute and I think it is such a funky present. So moving on to like stocking fillers and things like that. Um, the first thing that I always use, like I go through so much of this in like a month 
well I have to probably buy like two bottles a month because I love this stuff and it works wonders for my skin it's the number seven radiant results purifying foaming cleanser mum and dad got me this just as a um stocking filler it's really really good i think it's about 12 pound 50 out of boots and honestly it gets rid of your makeup and it just cleanses your skin i just absolutely love this and as i said i always run out of um this cleanser just because i use it like every day religiously one to take my makeup off but also if i'm not wearing makeup i still wash my face with this and my mom knows i'm always running out so it's a good job i've got a backup one because i'm just about to run out of my old one so i absolutely love this number seven face wash now we know that we all love some good slippers for Christmas. Slippers, socks, underwear and PJs is our go-to, What? well my go-to what I always put on my Christmas list anyway. And let me tell you, I did get a lot of pyjamas. I got some really cute French bulldog ones, I got some Harry Potter ones from Jake and moving on like to slippers and socks and things like that. Mom and Dad brought me like these really, really cute ones from River Island. As you can see, I haven't worn them yet because I did want to show you them in this video and I still wanted them to be like brand new and fluffy without them being worn. These was from River Island and yeah, I just absolutely love them because they're really, really cute and they've got some nice little sparkly gems on. Just like really, really funky ones and I do prefer the ones with um, the toes out just because my feet can get like a little bit suffocated in full slippers so yeah they're just absolutely perfect and I love the colour blue so yeah they're just like really really cute. Now another stocking filler um, is like a well it was a bit of an unusual one when I opened it because it was just like this box and it had my name oh that's upside down it had my name on top and I was like what the hell is this off mum and dad like literally what could they have brought me in this shape of box and I was trying to think like is it a jewellery box and um, is it like a little mirror but honestly I was wrong so when I took out the box it came in like this um other box and then I opened it and then it was this really cute funky glass honestly guys I am mad when it comes to mugs and glasses. I always want my own mug and always want my own glass. So mom has actually got one of these. And when I seen it, I was like, that is like really, really cool. Like where'd you get them done? And she actually got me one for Christmas, which I was like really happy about because it's also got my name engraved on the back of the glass, which I think is really, really cute. And I just love like the glasses, like really, really sassy. Hey, you've like got a woman standing there with a boo tube leotard on holding a glass of wine. It's like... It just shows that you're ready for the weekend, I think, if you're drinking this on a Friday night. Uh, but yeah, I just love this like little funky present. So I think it was really cute that mum and dad got me this. And um, yeah, it was like a cute stocking filler. Right, the next present is also from number seven. And Jake and mum actually got me the um, same exact present, which is fine because I can double up on the things that are actually in the set. So I opened the one, but I kept this one shut. And it is like the number seven... Um, face set it says five steps to radiant skin and i just absolutely love it you've got instant results nourishing hydration hydration um face mask sorry and then you've got your normal and night cream and you've also got like a radiant um revitalizing daily face polish so it's like a face scrubber and then you've also got um some micellar cleansing water in there i absolutely love this set just because it is like really really small and compact and it's always perfect for me traveling because me and jake always go out like to different hotels and we're always like looking for new places to go and yeah i just think i would probably use um these like little ones for traveling and things like that just because they do come in handy and it's rather than taking like your big pots of creams and you can't fit them in your luggage or your bag so yeah i just absolutely love this and obviously i love number seven so i've opened the other one but i'm going to keep this one um closed so when i run out i've got a backup as well so i absolutely love this present and jake has actually done like really really well this year like so i've only been together like two years in june this year um he knows me quite well so these like last two presents are from him now as i said i was only showing you like a handful of presents just because they are my favorite and honestly i love harry potter so he brought me the harry potter makeup brushes like i know these have been out for a while and i didn't know if they was legit because i was seeing them like on facebook videos and things like that i was thinking these can't be real like and they're not going to be that good but 
I seen this set in Boots and Jake was with me and I literally showed them. I was like, oh my god, they do Harry Potter brushes and they've got to be good because they're in Boots and yeah, I really want them. So on Christmas Day, I opened this present and I was just like really, really happy that I got the Harry Potter um, makeup brushes. So I'm going to read to you what is actually in these. So you get... Um, the Harry Potter Essential Crease Cosmetic Brush and what I also like about these is they've named every brush after the Harry Potter character so even though it's a makeup brush it's still in the shape of a wand so so the crease brush belongs to Harry Potter and then you get the Hermione Granger Fine Line Cosmetic Brush and then you get the Lord Voldemort Shadow Cosmetic Brush and then you get Albus Dumbledore Shadow Cosmetic Brush and then Ron Weasley is the fan brush which really makes me laugh because thinking of Ron Weasley and his character and you get like the fan brush to go with Ron Weasley I just think it represents him like really really well I don't know what it is like but I don't know I just think a fan brush represents Ron Weasley really really well because he's a bit like dopey and sometimes he can be a bit of a wimp and a bit girly so I think the fan brush does represent him really really well but I do love when I had Harry Potter so yeah I just absolutely love these brushes and I'm actually thinking of doing a video where I just focus on the Harry Potter brushes so testing and them out so let me know if you want me to do that video like in the comment section below I think it'd be really fun to test out these brushes and see how they actually work like on the eyes and see how the fan brush work so yeah make sure you let me know what i just obsessed with these brushes and i can't wait to try them out i also did open them on christmas day and honestly they're like really really heavy they are like proper metal or copper and they have got some really really good weight in them so these have, must have been expensive but i just can't wait to try them out because i hope they are amazing as they look right the last present of jake was well, honestly, I didn't know what it was when I opened it. I was like, what the hell is that? So it was like, it came as this. And I was like, has he brought me a box of cupcakes? Because it looks like a box of cupcakes if you ask me before you open it. And before, you, well, I didn't even read what it was. But it is like a really cute set from Benefit Cosmetics. Can you believe it? Like, honestly, I was shook when I opened it. And on the back, it actually tells you what you get in there. So you get a Give Me Bro Mini... Um, brow set in the shade 3 which is perfect for me because I'm shade 3 and sometimes in these sets you don't always get the shades that you use but then you also get the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara which is a travel size which I'm wearing right now and I've already took it out of the packaging because I've run out of my normal size one. You also get a Brazen Bronze Duo set so I'll show you that in a moment and then you also get the Lusty Rose um, Double the Lip Bare Real Lipstick and then you also get a hula bronzer with the brush. So I'm really, really happy with this set. And I just don't want to throw the box away. Because honestly, it is really, really cute. Like, honestly, can we just appreciate how cute this box is? Why do they always do cute packaging, which you literally do not want to throw away? So you open it and you get a book inside. This just basically shows you what's inside and how to use the products and things like that. So it's like a makeup guide with the things that are inside this set. Which I think are like really, really good and um, with people that are just starting out on makeup I think it really helps them a lot so as you can see when you open it up I'm just going to zoom you in actually because you can't really see that much can you so obviously as you can see when you open it up it is like really really cute set so it's I've already said like I've taken the mascara out just because I'm wearing it now but this is the um, Give Me Bro travel size um, bro setter which is really really cute and I absolutely love that. Now this is like the um, bronze duo so you get like this shimmery shade and you also get like the brown shade but honestly that is so pretty like it would work really really pretty on the eyes but it also work really nice as a highlighter as well look at that and then i've never tried the hula bronzer which i'm really really excited about because i've heard all good things about it so i'm really excited to try that and i think it's really good that they also give you the brush to come with it because sometimes when you buy sets like this they don't actually put the brushes in there so i know it's a smaller one but i just think it's really really good that they have put the brush in there and then this is the lipstick i have seen loads of like these two-tone lipsticks come out and I know Benefit Cosmetics come out with one as well at first I thought it was their real um, mascara but it wasn't it's actually like this really really 
funky lipstick so as you can see it's like a two-tone lipstick and i absolutely love it um i haven't actually tried it on my lips yet but it seems like really really glossy and seems like a really really nice shade so this was in what shade is this this is in lusty rose and yeah i just can't wait to try it out i do believe he got this from debenhams or boots but I just absolutely love this set. Jake has done so well this Christmas. Well, last Christmas, should I say. So, yeah. Um, let's hope he performs well this Christmas. We'll see. <laughs> I'm also quickly just going to show you, like, these earrings that Jake also got me. They're from Panadora. And they're just, like, little princess cranes. They're just, like, really, really cute. Got a confession, Jake. If you are watching this, I did see the Pandora bag whilst we were shopping. You're really terrible at hiding things. Uh, but I didn't know there was earrings, so it's all good. I thought it was going to be another charm for my Pandora bracelet, but it wasn't. It was like these really nice, cute uh, princess earrings. Also, I want to show you one more last quick item that I also got from my other sister, Katrina, which is uh, the middle sister. Um, she brought me this like really, really cool mixed metals nude um, makeup set from Boots. I am absolutely loving it. I haven't tried it yet because I want to try it in a new video. I might just do a video based on this to be honest but um, what you get in here is what do you get in here so you get a nine shadow eyeshadow palette you get a matte lip liner a metal matte lip cream and a blending eyeshadow brush now boots have like done outdone themselves this year because they haven't um got their traditional makeup um brands in which i know some people mind about but i just think it's really good to give other brands a um chance and this is the pro fusion cosmetics brand and i'm loving the packaging like it's got all like glitter in the word nude and i just think it's like really really funky and then you open it up and then as it says you get nine um shades in there so this is this has got my name written all over it you know i love warm tones like the browns and things like that it's just my favorite to play around with obviously i love playing around with color but if someone gives me a palette and it's got browns in i know that i'm actually gonna love this palette so you get like four shimmers in there you get obviously a you get a brow highlighter and you also get a um, shade to set the whole entire lid so I think that's really really good also um, the palette has a mirror which is good so it's perfect for traveling and then the rest of the four other shades are um, matte brown so you get a decent shade for um, the transition and then these ones are darker so yeah I just absolutely love this makeup set and I can't wait to try it out and I think it's really good that they've also gave you a blending brush in there i know some makeup sets don't come with blending brushes which we all hope they do but some don't but i just absolutely love this pro fusion cosmetic makeup set so guys that about does this video and what i had for christmas as i did explain i only picked like a handful of presents what i say to show you guys just because i know you would have been interested in them especially like the mark jacobs and the harry potter brushes and the Urban, not the Urban Decay, the Benefit Cosmetics uh, makeup set. I just knew you would have been interested in them. And I also thought I'd just throw in a few stocking fillers. You know, no matter how little or how much presents you've got for Christmas, I just hope everyone had a good Christmas and a good New Year. I know I'm late saying that because it's 20th of January and we're nearly into February. Can you believe it already? Uh, but yeah, let me know what you want to see next on my channel. I'm thinking about doing a... Um, Harry Potter first impressions brush um, collection testing out kind of thing but I also have brought loads of brushes from BH Cosmetics there's like a full face of them in there so I also might do them as well I've also bought a bunch of new makeup products from Ofra, NYX I've got loads of new makeup products obviously the ones I had for Christmas as well I do really want to um, include them in some kind of video soon so let me know what you want to see next on my channel I really hope you enjoyed watching this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram please if you haven't already I'd love you to become a part of the Instagram family that I have built it up on there hopefully I'll see you in my next video but until next time I love you all so much and I'll see you next time bye guys